what is up dtube steam blockchain so today i want to talk about looking at blockchains and tokens from from an energy perspective so usually people want to look at this or tokens from uh, maybe a value perspective same with blockchains maybe they want to look at it from a value based perspective but it's very it's very interesting when you more look at the the energy side of things so, so first of all as i talked about in the past smartphones are turning into energy devices and each generation of smartphones each year is uh, almost doubling in, in capacity and I think that people are sort of starting to realize that and also to sort of maybe adjust their behavior in how they're using their devices to be more sort of resource efficient. And um, it's very interesting to look at blockchains and tokens from an energy based perspective. So, for example, if something should be paid, it almost seems as a lot of energy someone has to put in a lot of energy uh, to do something then it's sort of um then sort of everyone can sort of agree that well i'm looking at this um th this whatever it is some some creative stuff and i sort of see that there was a lot of, a lot a lot a lot of energy pushed into this to sort of create something okay and then sort of that gets rewarded and uh, looking at it more from the perspective of that it's being rewarded for the energy for the effort that's put in so usually people want to look at the person or they want to look at the so-called value that they created but it's really really interesting when you more start to dive deeper into the energy that that person sort of produced to sort of create something this is the same as we're having with Bitcoin that it takes a lot of energy to sort of mine these Bitcoins with, with proof of work. And I think this analogy is, is very great because if we take, for example, a person that is putting in a lot of energy into something, and I mean, not just half asset. This is something that other people talked about on DTube. For example, if someone does something 99%, I think Corey Skate made a video about that, then that is more difficult than do something 100%. And uh, it, it, it is kind of fascinating because, well, where do people want to put their time, attention, and even their own energy? Well, they probably want to put it into something else that has a lot of energy that is backing it. So a person, you can almost say that a person can sort of be backed by their own energy spend that they're doing and also be backed at, well, how good is a person at managing their own energy? How much energy can they crank up? And how good are they at sort of challenge or ch channeling this energy into whatever now it is that they sort of want to do? And, um, I think it's quite fascinating for someone that eventually can crank up a lot of energy. They don't really care that much about how much token rewards they're getting with something because they see that they have so much energy. So they know that they always can have um, this source of abundance that they, they can, that they always can crank up sort of new energy and do more experimentation. And just because everything in this uh, sort of existence is just energy and consciousness, energy is uh, it's kind of fun to sort of look at, at stuff from that perspective. We can even look at it from, let's say, let, let, let's take a token value perspective. If people actually, if every person cranked up massive, massive energy, the, uh, the content that they would produce would be amazing. And of course, then eventually people would, would get so much buy-in not buy into the person or the value that they're seeing. I mean, you just buy in because they see, they can recognize, well, that is a lot of energy someone put in into something to actually create something great. And then they can sort of get buy in. And then instead of looking at it from that they're buying in with so-called so, so -called money and, and so on, 
you can more see it as they're buying in with their that they should buy in with their own energy and and try to crank up as much energy as possible themselves into creating something so energy is quite a good measurement of things something that is not really backed by that much energy it's kind of fickle i mean a person that's doing that that's not producing that much energy they're probably going to go and do something else so it's not as um it's not as stable and uh, it does seem as with these new technology systems a lot of it comes down to trying to create amazing energy based systems that eventually runs themselves and that, that are smooth so it's kind of fascinating with humans how we are always trying to save time and energy and it's very very easy to to get into that mode of um, not wanting to spend sort of energy energy and and uh, managing your own energy and crank up your own energy it takes a little bit of um, conscious consciousness looking at things to see well maybe i need to do some tweaks here and there it's also a very interesting energy perspective in terms of not just humans but devices itself so with proof of work for example how it takes computers to sort of mine a lot of value or verify a lot of value and that that also creates this sort of interesting machine that just keeps on going and uh, as long as you have the energy keep flowing from humans from the computers i mean clearly stuff should just keep on going if people stopped putting energy into something it does seem like that uh, machine eventually sort of would just um, fade away I think also looking at it from the energy perspective, I think that that, that gives people more clarity and more stability and um, not uh, they, they get less sort of confused about how much something should be worth. They, they're more looking at it from, well, if you do have a lot of energy in a system, eventually that is going to create more awesome stuff if you do something well then you're gonna get some some form of greater thing so that's what i wanted to talk a little bit about today and it's very fascinating because we usually maybe didn't look at it in this way in the past with money especially money tied to sort of oil maybe we more looked at money as something else i don't really know i mean in a way a lot of um well i mean it depends i mean a lot of the old school jobs very physical so maybe a lot of people looked in also there as as it being um sort of like a an energy machine i'm, I'm not really sure but i think that the way people are looking at the, the fiat money at the moment is not that much from an energy based perspective because i think they more look at it from some sort of almost physical perspective because we've had paper money for a long time so maybe they look at money more as sort of like an object compared to now where it more feels extremely dematerialized and extremely interesting because you try to really manage it properly so all the energy money sort of goes or energy tokens sort of goes exactly where they should be going so this is actually this is what people are actually basically complaining about a lot is most of the time it is that they feel that the energy should move into the right place and people sort of get annoyed when uh, people almost cheating the system by just using some some clever short-term tricks right so i love looking at it from the energy based perspective and uh, it's, it's quite fascinating because 
when you can do more with less, do more with less devices, then people eventually can keep having an, an, an energy device for four to five years and they don't have to constantly sort of upgrade all the time. But uh, I think that the, re the rewards are even going to get bigger also for people that are using their energy device in um, more and more efficient ways. For example, taking advantage of the new camera in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a brand new smartphone and really seeing how it improves the, uh, the experience for everyone. So it's really, really interesting to look at everything from an energy based perspective and even as humans that most of uh, a human body is basically water. That, that is kind of interesting when you start to, t uh, start to dive deeper into it that a lot of stuff is just water. And a few other materials, but uh, all, you can see how intelligence is, is quite interesting. So that's what I want to talk a little bit about today. And um, I think I'm going to keep looking at blockchains and, and uh, tokens a lot from from an energy based perspective and really try to look at, well, is people really going to put in a lot of energy in this blockchain based system or in this token? Even if people can, I mean, uh, why not just focus on this token instead where people are actually massive, massive energy is being produced. So yeah, have a great day, DTube and the Steam blockchain. Bye-bye.